Hey Dad, it's Marcus. I wish I could send you a text message, give you a phone call, but most of all, I wish I could just walk into the room and see you sitting there with your smiling face and your joking personality. Sadly, that can't happen right now. But one thing's for certain, you lived an exciting life. You lived a life by your terms. You lived a life that I'm excited to share with everyone in this room. So where do we begin? Your two parents, Kathleen and Parley, were a beautiful couple. And they made a handsome young little boy. You were mischievous, adventurous, inquisitive, and you loved hanging out with your family. You attended school in the Ogden Bountiful area, and you grew up to be a handsome, young teenage man. You loved your family. That was evident. Then comes your early adulthood. Oh man, you can just tell by these pictures that you were a flirtatious, adventurous, goofy dude. Fast forward, and here you are getting married. You were sharp. You were ready to take on the world. And although the marriage didn't work out in the end, you're blessed. You're blessed with your beautiful daughter who would be by your side till the end of your life. And a few years later, I came along and I was blessed with the best dad I could ever ask for. And throughout your life, you taught Candace and I to love one another to cherish what it is to have a brother or a sister. And to support your family, you worked in the fiberglass industry for over 30 years. You took pride in your work. You worked long hours, sometimes getting up at 3 a.m. and not getting home to 6 or 7 at night. You traveled across the country. The tanks you built housed water, chemicals. One of your tanks even made it on Breaking Bad. Your work ethic was evident in your personal life as well. You were always helping people. Your ability to excite and rally your community for projects was amazing. For instance, the time you organized the talents of our neighbors to replicate the jazz logo on our cul-de-sac street, which united our community and garnered national attention. You had a lot of interest during your life. One of those was motorcycles. You were always a daredevil. I still remember when you got your very last Harley. You even taught me how to ride the thing around. Maybe that was your way of repaying me after always waking up in the morning and finding my Mustang gone down the road with you behind the wheel. You loved music as well. You were the best air guitar player I ever met. You absolutely loved the outdoors. I'll never forget hiking with you or going on boating adventures. You also had a love for animals. You showed them so much kindness, and you always wanted to be around them, whether they were your animals, the animals of your kids, or just animals out in the wild. You always enjoyed them. Finally, your love of people. I consider this 
your best attribute. It didn't matter if they were strangers, family, friends. You treated everyone with kindness, compassion, and you showed genuine interest in individuals. You showed kindness to everyone. And that's something that you taught me. To be kind, humble, and above all, humorous. To not take life so seriously. We're all here for a small amount of time. And in the blink of an eye, we could be gone. And so just live life, have fun. That's the biggest thing that I'll take away from having you as my dad. I'll just remember all the good times, all the fun times. And I'll remember to treat people with kindness. How high are you? This is punishment, Dad. Well, Dad, you made it to 67 years old, or 24,648 days on this earth. And I, your son, got to enjoy 12,585 days with you. I'm going to miss you deeply. I love you, and I thank you for everything you taught me in those days. We'll see you later. I would also like to thank all of you for coming. Please, when you go home tonight, say I love you to those individuals that you care about. And remember, be happy, humble, and humorous, and don't take this life too serious. Mm -hmm.